Hi everybody, it's Mama D. Welcome back to my channel, Mama D Reacts. And I don't know if I told everybody on every video, but we're moving. So if you see more boxes growing behind me and I get all surrounded, that's what's going on. So we're going to watch episode 8 from the first season of The Crown. It's called Pride and Joy. It says Elizabeth and Philip go on an exhausting world journey. Margaret takes over some of her sister's official duties and tries to liven things up. Oh no, you can't liven things up for the monarch? They're not about all that kind of stuff. But anyway, let's see what happens on this one. Oh, poor mummy. She misses Poppy. Ask my daughters to come and see me. She's lonely. Because it's too soon. I can't do it. Poppy, you don't enjoy public speaking, whereas I do. And I was... Oh. What? Favorite. Hmm? Mummy, you decide then. It's head of the family. <laughs> but she's not head of the family. I am. And I will make the speech. Ooh, good girl. She's right. <clears throat> but it is with pride that I unveil this noble statue today. She can't look at it. Aww. Aww. But sending the Queen on this forthcoming tour in the current climate would be to put the Sovereign in an unacceptable level of danger. You know we must be considered her a patronizer, and that's not what I'm saying, sir. So. Right. She ain't gonna put up with that. Besides, I had rather hoped to disappear up to Scotland for a while, and Margaret could deputize for me. Ah! Yes, it's the end of the earth. Yes chance to really get away from it all. Never would think. About what? Your father. Mm-hmm. My life. By the way, I've arranged for Margaret to deputize for me while I'm gone as head of state. Why? Someone needs to do it. Oh, Lord Jesus. I think she's up to it. Up to what? Standing still, looking pretty, and putting a sword on a few people's shoulders. And presumably making speeches. Which will be written for her. And turning up on time. I believe there are people who will get her where she needs to be. And behaving herself. <laughs> you must cruelly cut short by the death of your dear father. Oh, Winston's going with him too, huh? He saw this tour as a chance to keep each dominion close, preserving that empire. Never let them see the real Elizabeth Windsor. Never let them see that carrying the crown is often a burden. But let them see only the eternal. Oh, so basically... Be happy and chippy all the time. Oh, he's not going. I didn't think so. That would be too much for him to take. Scotland is beautiful. I wish I could go there someday. I know I've got some of you subscribers from Scotland. It's beautiful. Oh, look at the ocean. Wow. Oh, how cool. I'll be at the ocean in nine days. I can't wait. No horse riding, though. Wow, that looks amazing. Well, you could become a neighbor. There's a castle along the coast for sale. Has it been very difficult? Oh, don't make her cry. I don't want to sound self piteous. But loss has followed loss. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, the loss of a husband. Then the loss of a home. And having to leave the pets. She's got a lot of loss. Huh? The loss of motherhood as daughters become adults. The loss of a routine, sense of purpose. The loss of a crown. My husband and I 
have been deeply touched by the welcome we have received here. <laughs> May God bless you. <laughs> Stay loyal or die. Is that it now? Can we knock off? Oh! Oh! oh here we go again, waving like lunacy. <laughs> Goody. <laughs> I love the actual footage. That's cool. She's so jealous of her sister, it's pitiful. Minor adjustments of the text? Ma'am. Give it more color. But you're standing in her place. She'll go off script anyway, I betcha. You. you will be there in her place. Oh, she's just full of it, ain't she? By deep blue water beyond white coral sands. Yeah, that's not at all what they wrote. <laughs> Fine company we have here tonight. Our, our ambassador to the United States of America, Sir Roger Makins. The only honest thing to come out of Washington. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Of course, Sir Charles Peake and his wife from Greece. A country which has brought us many things. Philosophy, democracy, my brother-in-law. Yeah, she relates much better to the people, but... but how long will it take? I'm allowed two hours. Two hours? In a hundred degree heat, I could ask them to increase the van driving speed a little, uh, but I think the horses might struggle. No, we'll be fine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that looks cool in slow motion. The place is in such a state, I'd sooner make a gift of it. I'm afraid I'd be quite unable to accept. Why not? <laughs> It would be frowned upon it. Something to do with who I am. You're an actress. A famous film star. Ah! <laughs> Got a little bit of dementia there, do we? That just made her realize, I guess, or make her think. I'm not who I used to be. The solution is, is obvious. Stop smiling. The trouble is, I have the sort of face that if I'm not smiling, and everyone says I was actually cross. No. Well, I could inject the affected area with a relaxant. You'd have to watch yourself with soup, though. I'll have the injection. Oh, good God. What? And dribble soup all over your dress? Do you know? <laughs> I love him. He cracked me up. The other night. I woke up with my right arm out from under the bedclothes. Do you know what I've been doing? I've been oh. waving to the crowds in my sleep. See? <laughs> Look at his face. Are you missing him? Yes, I am. Very much. And are you missing your sister, Her Majesty the Queen? Not quite as much, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. He knows exactly what that means. She's in trouble. Every box. Never put a foot wrong. Now, finally, I love you more than I love Mom. Ooh! Oh, let me get out! You got out! Me, boy. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, the press is right there. Of course. They're a normal couple. And no one wants you to be you. They want you to be it. Mm -hmm. A statue. Right. A You're representing the crown. The crown. Thank they you. come to see, not you. But I sent someone to bring her back. Right away. <laughs> You're on time out, Margaret. We are seeing return to London. This is all the information that I have. He's realizing who she is. <laughs> oh my god. He's finally <laughs> come to you. <laughs> well, 
Justin, you say? Ma'am. Because people always make such a fuss. And stop being themselves. Right. And you'd have doubled the price. Uh, okay. <laughs> 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 have I done to deserve this? The brief was simple. Perform minor ceremonial tasks with a minimum of fuss. Oh, she's been called to the big house. You showed individuality. And that made people panic. They don't want individuality. The last person who showed character almost took the <laughs> ship down. Just from time to time. Lord, putting a foot wrong. The occasional hmm. mistake. Let the slide down. So I might not be so conspicuous a failure by comparison. You're tired. No, I'm not. Not tired. <laughs> I'm just asking for a future I can bear. She's got to stay royal and regal. Boy, it's been rough. It's got to be rough for her, for Elizabeth. I mean, all of them. Everything changed in a blink of an eye. Wow. Look at that view. Wow, that was another good episode. Man, I wouldn't want to be in any of their shoes. You know, seriously, none of them. That has to be, I mean, you've got everything you want. You have people dressing you, cooking for you. Too much protocol and too much, uh, you know, rules and regulations for me. But anyway, let's get on to the next episode and see what happens. Please leave your comments below. No spoilers. And subscribe and like and share. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.